I'm Tara with Simple MDM, and today I'm going to guide you through the process of creating an Apple Business Manager account and connecting it to Simple MDM. But before we dive in, let's take a moment to understand what Apple Business Manager is and why it's important for mobile device management. Apple Business Manager, also referred to as ABM, is an Apple tool that is designed to work alongside mobile device management solutions like Simple MDM. It's important to note that ABM also encompasses Apple School Manager, which is specifically for educational institutions. Now, let's explore the two significant components of ABM. One of the main benefits of Apple Business Manager is automated device enrollment, formerly known as DEP or Device Enrollment Program, which allows devices to be automatically enrolled during initial setup without an admin having to physically touch the device. So providing that zero touch experience. Automated enrollment is also the only way to prevent users from being able to manually uninstall the MDM profile from devices. So really ensuring that extra layer of protection and having devices remain securely managed with your organization's ecosystem. The second component is apps and books formerly known as Volume Purchase Program, or VPP. This allows you to install apps and books from the App Store onto your devices with an MDM solution like Simple MDM without any user interaction or the user needing to manually enter their Apple ID. Without apps and books, or VPP, the app installation process would require the end user to manually install the apps that they need and enter their personal Apple ID. With Simple MDM and Apple Business Manager, organizations can streamline this process and reduce the administrative overhead of having to manage personal Apple IDs in an enterprise setting. One last thing I wanted to mention is that throughout the ABM documentation, you may encounter references to DEP and VPP, which are previous terminologies used. It's important to understand that these terms are now synonymous with Apple Business Manager. If you don't have an Apple Business Manager account yet, let me walk you through the process of signing up for one, which is completely free of cost. Start by navigating to business.apple.com where you'll find the option to enroll now. You'll be prompted to enroll your organization by providing information like your organization name, phone number, website, your DUNS number, contact details, and any other necessary details asked. It's important to know the approval process can take a week or more. Once you have your Apple Business Manager account set up, a token exchange needs to happen to establish a connection with Simple MDM. To do that, you'll want to sign into your Simple MDM account and click on the Enrollments tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Once you are on the Enrollments page, you will click on the Add Enrollment button and select Automated Enrollment. DEP. You'll then follow the on-screen steps to get through the rest of the token exchange process. Once you've uploaded your Apple server token, Simple MDM and ABM will be linked. It's important to note that these tokens expire annually and need to be renewed. While it's not mandatory, 
we highly recommend using a generic administrator account. Linking Apple Business Manager to Simple MDM establishes a channel of communication between the two services. The next step is to make Simple MDM aware of the devices in your Apple Business Manager account. From Apple Business Manager, you'll need to assign your devices to the MDM server. This will grant Simple MDM the ability to see these devices. From your Simple MDM account, navigate to Devices, Enrollments, and click the name of the server your devices are assigned to. The type of enrollment should be Automated Enrollment. Click the Sync with Apple button. Once this process is completed, all that's left to do is enroll devices, which we will cover in the next video. Now that we've walked through connecting Simple MDM to ABM, let's move on to the VPP download process. To connect your VPP account to Simple MDM, you will download a token file from Apple and upload it to Simple MDM. This token allows you to add or purchase licenses in ABM and then sync them to MDM for distribution providing a seamless app installation process for your end users. Sign into your Apple Business Manager account and click the button in the bottom left corner of the screen that displays your username. This should display a pop-up menu. You'll select Preferences, Payments and Billing. On the right side of the screen under Apps and Books, click the corresponding name under Server Tokens for the location you have been assigning application licenses to. This will download the VPP token file. Head over to your Simple MDM account and click VPP under Apps and Media on the left hand side. Click the Add Token button and select the file you downloaded from ABM and save. This will link Simple MDM to your VPP account and will begin importing your licenses automatically. These licenses will be visible within Simple MDM under the catalog section. Before we conclude, let's briefly talk about locations within ABM and how you can utilize them. Locations in ABM help organize your devices based on physical or virtual locations. If you are trialing or using multiple MDMs, you should use a dedicated location for each MDM since VPP tokens may be tied to the MDM they are uploaded to. Using one VPP token across multiple MDMs can cause app distribution to stop working properly. All right, that's all for today. I'm Tara with Simple MDM. See you next time where we'll cover the different enrollment methods available with Simple MDM.